All right, hello there. I'm going to show you how to change the starter generator belt on an EasyGo gas-powered golf cart. This model is specifically an MPT-12-100. You may have a different model. They all run about very similar uh, setups. And they all run, I'm pretty sure, the same drive belt, too. The starter generator belt. There's your part number if you're looking for it. I got this from my local EasyGo dealer. I don't know the specific brand. You can call your local EasyGo dealer and find the specific belt for your application. But we're going to start off with safety first. Set your parking brake. Make sure the card is off. Remove the key. And with the parking brake off, we're going to set it to the neutral position to make it easier to remove the drive belt. Remove our seat, which we have access to the starter generator here. To remove this or loosen the starter generator, if you look down here, you see this little crooked piece. And there's two 14 millimeter bolts down there. I'm going to grab a 14 millimeter wrench, which I happen to have one lying around here somewhere. Let me see. There's one. 14 millimeter. You want to be very careful because that is the positive battery terminal. You touch that and something else metal it will make big sparks and very unpleasant. With that out of the way, you simply reach down in here and knock that loose. Reach in with your hand, spin it off a bit, so now it's loose, drive belt or your starter generator belt is loose. Now we're going to get under the back end so we can walk it off. Take my wrench, set it down. In this case, I have a dump bed on the back, so I raise that up. In the case of other machines, you may have to remove where the back seats are or tilt them up, depending on the cart. Move my maintenance flap. We're going to remove the belt. This is also how you change the drive belt. You simply walk it up on the drive pulley here, put the cart back in neutral. Walk it off, walk it off, not hanging up on the springs, there we go, dry belt off, out of the way, don't set it on anything warm. Now for the starter generator belt, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I think I'm going to try and do it on the short side. So I'll flip this back up and over, make sure everything's nice and loose. See if I can't walk this over this pulley. Maybe. I may have to loosen it up a bit more. Yeah. Yep. Give me a sec so I can loosen that up some more. Alright. You may find it necessary to loosen the through bolt that holds the starter generator to the frame. Right here. And back here. It happens to be 19 millimeters on both sides. Just letting you know that. I think I have it loose enough now. Get you a good view. Walk this bad boy over. Come on, please. May still have to take more tension out of it. Man. Let's see. Set you down. Fight it a little bit. There we go. Got off that side. Come to the back. Simply feed it through. There you go. Really cracked, busted, old starter generator belt. You should change your belt before it gets like this. I don't want to focus. There we go. See how bad it is? Alright. What do we do with old belts? In the bin. Grab a new one. Do the same as before, feed it on over, throw it in this little slot there on the flywheel, grab her and bring her up, set you back down here, belt's got a little more tension to it than the old one, it won't be a little more feisty, 
fighting it on. I have to loosen up this uh, star generator some more. Alright. Let me do that some more then. I'll be right back. Alright, it's now very loose. Let's see what I can do now. Oh. Loosen these here bolts a bit more. That's as much as they'll back off. So now it's just a matter of fighting. I might be able to get a little bit more out of it. Or will it walk off of there? It does not want to cooperate at all. They put this adjuster in a bad spot, too. He could have done a little better than that. Well, I'm going to fight with this all night. You get the basic idea. You loosen up your tensioner there. Walk it down. Walk the old belt off. Make sure you don't have power to run into it. Go to reinstall it. You are going to fight a little bit because the new belt hasn't stretched. Remember how to deal with your belt in here. I'll show you real quick how to reinstall it. Simply go over the driven pull or the drive pulley. Walk it over the drive driven pulley. Then just turn it around. There it is. Belt reinstalled. Go through that, check your air, check your oil, check your fuel, all of that. If you enjoy my videos, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have an awesome day.